Hello everyone. Welcome again to our tutorial series. I am Teacher William, and our topic today is, The System and Subsystems of the Earth. This topic covers in our subject, Earth and Life Science in Senior High School. Our objective today is to explain that the Earth consists of four subsystems, across whose boundaries matter and energy flow. With my joining force colleagues, let us explore our topic for today. Now, let us study the Earth system. The term, Earth system, refers to Earth's interacting physical, chemical, and biological processes. The system consists of the land, oceans, atmosphere and poles. It includes the planet's natural cycles, the carbon, water, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur and other cycles, and deep Earth processes. Life too is an integral part of the Earth system. Life affects the carbon, nitrogen, water, oxygen and many other cycles and processes. The Earth system now includes human society. Our social and economic systems are now embedded within the Earth system. In many cases, the human systems are now the main drivers of change in the Earth system. The biophysical components of the Earth system are often referred to as spheres and are subdivided into four. So here are the four subsystems of our planet Earth. We have number one, the geosphere, two, hydrosphere, three, atmosphere and four, the biosphere. These four regulate the different functions on Earth such as, the climate change, ecological services generated by the living biosphere, including food production, and natural resources like fossil fuels and minerals. Let us now elaborate the four subsystem of the Earth. Number 1. The Geosphere. The Geosphere, sometimes called the Lithosphere refers to all of the rocks of the Earth. That means, the Geosphere makes up the solid portion of the Earth. It includes the planet's mantle and crust, the two outermost layers. We are going to study these layers of the Earth in the next video. Geosphere includes the non-living land features. Geosphere came from a Latin name geo, which means grounds. Since geo, means ground, the geosphere describes all of the rocks, minerals and ground that are found on and in Earth. This includes all of the mountains on the surface, as well as all of the liquid rock in the mantle below us and the minerals and metals of the outer and inner cores. The continents, the ocean floor, all of the rocks on the surface, and all of the sand in the deserts are all considered part of the geosphere. Basically, if it looks like solid ground, it's part of the ground sphere. Number 2. The Hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is composed of all waters on or near the Earth's surface. This includes water on the surface like the oceans, rivers and lakes. It may also be the water in the underground, in wells, and aquifers and may exist even as a moisture in the air, which is visible as clouds and fogs. The Earth's hydrosphere can be in the form of liquid, vapor and ice such as glaciers, ice caps and icebergs. The frozen part is called cryosphere. Mostly 97% of the Earth's water is in the form of oceans or salty water and the rest is fresh water or non-salty water. Three quarters of this fresh water is solid and exist in the ice sheets. Third, the atmosphere. The Earth atmosphere is not just merely the air that we breathe but also a blanket of gas, that surrounds our planet up to the edge of space. This thin layer of gas that envelops our planet is necessary to sustain life because it contains gases essential for humans and animals to breathe. It enables plants to make their own food, traps heat to keep us warm, protect us from harmful, radiation from the space and drives ocean currents that spread heat which regulates our climate. The greenhouse gases help keep our planet's temperature to a level conducive to life. The atmosphere includes air, precipitation, clouds and aerosols. They are tiny particles suspended in the air. It contains mixture of gases such oxygen and nitrogen that makes up 99% of the volume in the air. The remaining part of the atmosphere is composed of traces of gas such as argon while the others are carbon dioxide and ozone which are present in minutes amounts. The atmosphere is divided into different parts. We have number 1, troposphere, 2, the stratosphere, 3, the mesosphere, 4, the thermosphere, 5, the ionosphere, and 6, the exosphere. Let us explore these different parts before we proceed to the next subsystem of the Earth. Number 1. The troposphere. 
troposphere is a part of the atmosphere starts at the Earth's surface and extends 8 to 14.5 km high. It is considered the densest among the other parts of the atmosphere. Almost all weather types are in this region. Number 2. The stratosphere. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere. It extends up to 50 km high in this this region where we can find the ozone layer which absorbs and scatters the solar ultraviolet radiation. Number 3. The mesosphere. This region is above the stratosphere and extends up to 85 km. Meteors usually burn up in this region as they approach our planet. Number 4. The thermosphere. The thermosphere extends up to 600 km above the mesosphere. It is where the aurora and satellites occur. Number 5. Ionosphere. The ionosphere is the part of our atmosphere where abundant layers or electron, ionized atoms and molecules occur. It extends from about 48 km above the surface of the edge of space up to 95 km. This region grows and shrinks and is dependent on solar conditions. It is subdivided into the several sub-regions. The ionosphere is a critical link in the chain of the Sun-Earth interactions. This region makes radio communications possible. Lastly, we have number 6. The exosphere. This is the upper limit of our atmosphere. It extends from the top of the thermosphere up to 10,000 kilometers. We will now proceed to the continuation of the subsystem of the Earth. Now, we have the last subsystem of the Earth which is the biosphere. The biosphere is termed as the zone of life. It is also known as ecosphere, is the worldwide sum of all ecosystems. It is the part of the Earth where life exists. It could occupy the oceans, surfaces of the land and can also be in the atmosphere. It extends from the deepest root systems of trees, to the dark environment of ocean trenches, to lush rainforests and high mountaintops. The biosphere measures about 20 kilometers from top to bottom where almost all life exists between 500 meters below the ocean's surface to about 6 kilometers above sea level. The biosphere ranges from a height of 10 kilometers above sea level as well as below the ocean's surface to about 6 kilometers deep. It has been said that the biosphere existed for about 3.5 billion years. Prokaryotes are said to be the earliest life forms which survived without oxygen. These are unicellular microorganisms that lack a distinct nucleus and membrane-bound organelle such as ancient prokaryotes bacteria and archaea. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned. Please continue to support my tutorials by simply pressing the subscribe button, like the video, hit the notification bell for more video updates, and share to your friends. See you again on the next video tutorials. I am Teacher William. Once again, thank you very much.